In this third part, I'm going to show you how to extrude walls correctly from this floor plan. To change the visibility, click on the eye icon. But first we have to give correct measurements to the scene. Go to the top view, select measure tool. Now I can drag line in the scene along this to measure the distance. As you can see, the plane measurements is 15,000 millimeters. But in Blender I have got only 1.54 meters. I can calculate how much I have to scale to get this wall the same length as in the plane 15 meters. So divide 15 meters from 1.54 meters. That number means that I have to scale this plane 0, 0,974 times to get the same measurements as in the plane. Select all meshes that need to be scaled. Press A on the keyboard to select all objects and S to scale and type 0 0.974 to scale all the selected objects. To check if you, your calculation is correct, just use measurement tool again. The measurement in Blender and in the plane should be almost the same only in blender meters now i'm ready to make walls for this house in object mode select all objects with shift button on the keyboard Switch to edit mode and select all front faces of the meshes. I want that wall height to be 3 meters, so E and type 3 on the numpad. Everything looks good, but we need to remove unnecessary lines. Select everything with A on the keyboard. Right click and limited dissolve. As you can see, meshes look more cleaner. And we reduced vertex number in the scene. Let's check the bottom of this house. One block is not filled correctly. To fix this issue, select all edges of this block and hit F to fill the surface. Yeah, uh, everything looks fine. Now go back to the top view. I'm gonna make the floor or just contours of this house. Important to go to object mode and create a new object because I want that this mesh would be a separated object from the house. Grab and move it. Easiest way to make this object in the correct position. Go to side view and move it on the Z axis. It looks good. Go to the bottom view and scale the mesh up, up to wall sides. Grab it, move it again. If you go to edit mode, I can expand the edge up to the wall's edge. Also the same to, the, to reduce this edge length. A few more corrections. 
I have created the contour of the floor but one block is outside of the square so I need to use the loop cut tool as in the first part video series to make a new block control R on the keyboard and move it near the wall edges To select the edge, use Edge Select tool, then press E and I to extrude to the side. I don't need the floor near the garage door, because where will be another object pavement. Let's cut out this part of the floor. Again use Loop Cut tool. But in this situation, I'm gonna delete this mesh, select the face and X on the keyboard to delete. That's it. Now you can start texturing, add furniture, lightning and other stuff. If you liked this video, hit the like and subscribe button. If you want to see more video like this, leave a comment.